Waiting for Godot is a play by Samuel Beckett that has been widely regarded as a classic of the theater of the absurd. The play, which was first performed in 1953, follows the two main characters, Vladimir and Estragon, as they wait for the arrival of a character named Godot. Over the course of the play, the characters engage in a series of absurd and often nonsensical conversations while they wait for Godot to arrive. Here is an analytical summary of the play. Act 1. The play opens with Vladimir and Estragon waiting on a country road for the arrival of Godot. The two characters are dressed in ragged clothes and engage in a series of repetitive and nonsensical conversations. They discuss various topics, such as the passing of time, the nature of existence, and the futility of their actions. As the act progresses, the characters encounter two other characters, Pozo and Lucky, who are on their way to a fair. Pozo is a domineering figure who has enslaved Lucky, and the characters engage in a series of absurdist interactions. Act 2. The second act picks up where the first act left off, with Vladimir and Estragon still waiting for Godot. The characters engage in a series of repetitive and circular conversations, and their physical and mental states deteriorate as the act progresses. They encounter Pozo and Lucky again, but this time the roles are reversed, with Pozo having been blinded and Lucky having become mute. The characters engage in another series of absurdist interactions before Pozo and Lucky leave. The play ends with the characters still waiting for Godot, who never arrives. The play's final lines, well, shall we go, are left open to interpretation, with some critics suggesting that the characters will continue to wait for Godot indefinitely, while others suggest that they will finally move on. Analysis Waiting for Godot is a play that is often described as being about nothing, with no clear plot or resolution. However, the play is also rich in themes and symbolism, and has been interpreted in many different ways by critics and audiences. One of the key themes of the play is the nature of existence and the human condition. The characters in the play are trapped in a cycle of waiting, and their conversations often touch on the futility of their actions and the meaninglessness of their lives. The play suggests that human existence is characterized by a sense of aimlessness and emptiness, and that our attempts to find meaning in life are often futile. Another important theme of the play is the breakdown of language and communication. The characters in the play engage in a series of repetitive and circular conversations, and their language often fails to convey any real meaning. This breakdown of language is a reflection of the character's confusion and sense of disorientation, and suggests that communication is often futile in a world that is characterized by absurdity and meaninglessness. The play is also rich in symbolism and allegory. Godot, the character that the characters are waiting for, has been interpreted in many different ways, with some critics suggesting that he represents God or salvation, while others suggest that he represents a sense of purpose or meaning in life. The characters Pozo and Lucky have been interpreted as representing different aspects of human nature, such as the desire for power and control, and the sense of submission and servitude. Overall, Waiting for Godot is a play that is characterized by its sense of absurdity, its use of repetition and circular dialogue, and its exploration of existential themes. The play is open to interpretation, and its meaning and significance will likely continue to be debated and analyzed for many years to come.